my name is Ronald Jones. I'm the Vice Chancellor of the Bridgetown International University. I arrived in India on the 24th of July to have a conversation with parents and, and, and students and generally to promote Bridgetown International University, particularly in the south of India. Um, that gave me the opportunity, of course, to observe the country from New Delhi and through those various cities that I um, went to. Um, some of them, of course, being Tirupati, Bangalore, Vijayawada, Hyderabad, of course, and Vijayawada-Patman. You can't call all of those names not necessarily correctly. I think there's something to be exploited. You cannot go to many other parts of the world and experience the extent and degree of hospitality that I enjoyed here in India. Persons, I would say, went beyond the call of duty to ensure that I enjoyed, yes, the hard work, because having to travel um, sometimes for an hour by plane, sometimes two hours, um, sometimes morning and sometimes evening, so that you're ready to speak to parents and students the next morning was really a bit uh, taxing, but it was work which had to be done, and parents you had to see, and students you had to talk to. Um, there is a very keen interest among parents and students for medical education. Of course, they ask you so many questions to bring clarity to their own ideas and clarity to their own minds. And I, I, I support them in that endeavor because in marketing and promotion, sometimes you lay it on quite thick. But it was not my intention to so do. Intended to be practical and honest. What you see is what you get. What you get is what you will experience. And in that context, um, parents were able to ask many questions. One of the questions that con was continually being asked was about safety and security, and I understand that. Um, and I was able to clarify um, to, to parents and to those students who came to our various meeting points, to our various seminars, and workshops, um, as I talked through your television media. I don't believe I've ever spoken to so many television people live and recorded. I believe we did about nine television stations, um, um, two, two recordings, and, and all of that. So that took some time, but to reach people, you have to talk to them. And you have to convince them that what, you, what you're bringing to them makes sense. So safety and security was one that occupy the minds of persons. Now, bearing in mind that India is quite far from the Caribbean, or quite far from the United States of America, and parents allowing their students to go that distance to study would have to know that reasonable security is in place, both in the campus, in the hostels, and also within the wider country because it is not a situation where you are going to corral students um, at the hostel and at the campus, but that they, from time to time, will be able to do tours in the country. Um, I'm opting for supervised tours um, or guided tours so that a person from Barbados will be able to always guide them um, to you know, various parts of the, of, of the country. I know they will journey outside of the hostel from time to time, but I've already said to many of them, because of the laid back nature of the society, that you don't take anything for granted. Because even though Barbados is relatively safe, and many countries of the Caribbean are relatively safe, there's always the likelihood of some person doing something at some time for some reason. So we will um, provide as far as we possibly can the kind of safety mechanisms that would make per, um, students feel at home and make persons feel comfortable. 
as a, the student is being well looked after. I even spoke about them going into the beaches. Barbados is surrounded, particularly along the west coast, with some of the most beautiful beaches in the world. White sand beaches, blue waters, and it has an alluring and it's a temptation. But I've said to them, you know, you, you got to be careful. When there are markers out which says don't go into the beach, don't go. Only go to the beaches where you have um, beach guards or beach wardens who will be there looking out for you and who are strong swimmers to rescue in case something happens. But more importantly, bathe no more than 10 or 15 feet from the shore. Um, we, we say in our country that seas have no back doors. All of them are front doors. Um, so you, you, once you go to the front door, you, you know, you, there's, a, there's no back door, you can walk right through. So even to the extent of that, and Barbados is a tourist country, and people love our beaches, and students would also like that as well, but everything would be supervised, everything would be done to ensure their safety. At the campus, of course, uh, we don't have persons encroaching from the streets or from other places to go into the campus, um, but that has security guards, and we will have security guards at nights um, at the hostel, you know, doing regular checks. But there will also be closed circuit television um, that we've already installed those at the campus, and then we will move to put at convenient points, um, same closed circuit television monitored um, at where the boys and students, male and female, um, would be staying. Now, the campus itself is interesting. It's not purpose built. We are going to build a purpose built campus where you will have on campus student accommodation and places for classrooms and labs and um, computer labs and all of those. But right now we occupy a space of some 35,000 square feet um, which can comfortably hold um, our timetable about 400 students. Um, we have a very well equipped library. It, it, it has technology equipped as well um, so that students can also go on the internet, if they, if, especially if they don't have their own computers. But I'm saying to them, please do because you might want as well in, in your accommodation to go on the internet uh, and to do research so you can have your own as well. If they are expensive here in India, don't worry. You can get very good computers in Barbados for less than 500 US dollars, um, 399, 400 dollars US, um, and they're there, um, either desktops or laptops. For students, I suggest laptops as the most convenient a way of handling your own research and your own work. Um, classrooms. Um, an adequate timetable. Not every student will be doing the same subject at the same time. So your timetable to rotate through, through subjects, through, dis through subject disciplines, through English and maths and physics and chemistry, biology, microbiology, you, you know, you'll be scheduled to rotate. Um, so, because part of our emphasis is, is to try to keep classes with, a, with what we call a pupil-teacher ratio as minimum as possible, as small as possible. Because we want students to feel that personal touch, that personal contact from our lectures and our teachers um, in that context. Um, the, the, the campus is fully Wi-Fi um, served, so they can get online and they can communicate with their parents, either through email or one of the other um, apps that they use for communication purposes. Um, so that would, make, to some extent, make sure uh, that they hear the voice of their parents and then their friends on a regular basis. Now, of course, you don't want that regular basis to become so pronounced that they forget that they come to study and that they come uh, to succeed. The hostel will not have persons um, squeeze up on each other because Barbados um, has 
two or three organizations, regulatory bodies, to ensure that the space that is used by a person is adequate enough for that person to use. So in the campus, um, there's a specific, specific allocated space, all determined by the Environmental Protection Agency of Barbados and the um, Barbados Fire Service. Um, most people are familiar with the MBBS. It's a, really a Commonwealth designation. But at the end of this student's journey, they will be um, awarded the MD, um, Doctor of Medicine, um, and they will be able to practice in the United States of America once they're able to satisfy that and they can do their residencies which in India and in Barbados are called internships. Um, but that is to ensure that all of your learning now coalesces around specific treatment of patients and possibly you developing a liking for some speciality um, in medicine. So you won't just be a general practitioner, but you can move on and become um, a specialist in a particular field of study. Um, it is my belief that that offers uh, a very dynamic perspective to our young people because no longer are young people part of just a simple country. They're part of the world. They're, they're global citizens and they see the world in that perspective. Um, I would hope, of course, is that many of them, after gaining the experience, can return to their individual homelands to also help in dealing with the shortage of doctors that you will find in many of these countries from which the students will be coming from. And in saying that, let me underscore that students will not only be coming from India. India might form the larger block or the largest block of students, but students will be coming from Barbados, the Caribbean, North America, as the, the program become more known to people of the world and that the success rate is high, the quality is high, so that it gains its own momentum in trying to reach um, the students of the world. Um, so the, 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 the perspective which I bring is one not based strictly on marketing or promotion, but as an educator myself of some 27 years, and then leading education in Barbados for some 10 years, I bring a perspective which is informed about how students learn, the kind of attitude, attitude that students should possess, and the kind of learning behaviors that they should bring to help guide their own success. Teaching strategies to be employed or teaching methodologies to be employed will also embrace 21st century technologies in the sense that computers, um, projectors, um, software in 2D and 3D format um, so that they're able not only to visualize the human body but they're able to manipulate the human body. They will be able to see, hear, um, touch and talk about um, what is before them. In other words, the utilization of the four senses in this instance would have a greater impact on their learning behavior and their pursuit of success um, as students who want, in fact, to be successful. Um, the, the, there are a few concerns um, which I have, and one of those would be when you leave your home, are you coming to work hard? Are you coming to be successful? Or is it a time for you to enjoy a different environment and a different culture? If that is in fact the case, you don't have to come. We want students who would have passed through NEAT, um, successfully done, or would have successfully done NEAT, students who would have spent good time at their schools learning because they know what they want to achieve in life and how they want to make themselves, their families, and the, you know, the towns and states and country happy with their success. 
um, I had a chance to talk with students as well. To those who are interested, I was quite pleased as I visited those several places that I previously mentioned with the quality of intellect which you know was displayed by the students, their ability to ask questions. Not all of them did it in um, smoothest of English, but every one of them spoke English to some degree. That is why at the campus English will be mandatory for everybody um, while they also do maths and all the other subjects that relate to the pursuit of medicine. Um, so I was quite pleased with that. I, I was quite pleased that they, they had some knowledge of Barbados to some degree. Um, different people had a different knowledge base of Barbados and that said to me that they did some research if they did not know the country before. I, I was able to assure them that there are other medical universities in Barbados. Um, at least four of them, or three others, um, owned by Indian entrepreneurs who have seen the need for more doctors, more training. I, I was able to read that India is going to need nearly two million doctors by 20, I think 2050. That's a lot of people to, tr to be trained. And, uh, unless there are more training institutions, you're not going to be able to satisfy that need. The United States of America, um, by 2023, um, will need some 90,000 more doctors. And they're only able to take in about 23,000 a year. And so, so you will, you'll find that we need young people to train as doctors. We need young people to be part of the caring professions. But medicine, uh, as the premier caring profession, is one that we have indicated that we will provide the kind of um, study and environment to, to make sure they work. A recreation, I will make sure that all work and no play will not make Jack a dull boy because there will be play. They will be able to, um, you know, have some um, physical activity in, in either on campus or, you know, in a space. So if they want to do a little cricket, that can be organized on one of the many community fields in Barbados. And they will be able to engage Barbadians uh, as they play the sport. They might even be able to join one of the many cricketing teams we have. That's for males. One of the many cricketing teams we have in Barbados. Yes, Barbados has a cricketing team in every village and um, in, in, a, in a program we call the Barbados Cricket League. So in every village you will find there is a cricket team and on Saturdays and Sundays they, they play uh, cricket. Um, the young ladies can also participate in other activities as well. Um, the, the students will be accommodated all on the same compound but in separate um, accommodation in separate hostels and one of the things that we will be doing is ensuring that all of the students are able to have three quality meals a day breakfast lunch and dinner and we will set up the timelines where they know that they can have their breakfast lunch and dinner once they are at school once they are on campus all of that will be provided in uh, the, the very large cafeteria. It's not um, to be owned, but it's there for everybody. So it which can seat about 600 people. So, um, and they're seating. Um, meals will be coming from um, the kitchen located there. And then on weekends, we'll make provisions so that they too can eat on weekends. But again, the campus will be open on Saturdays for those who want to do extra study. Um, so that they can be ahead of the game or that they can understand what else they need to understand as part of the um, curriculum. I was speaking about technology and I, I want to say that outside of the 3D and projectors and Wi-Fi and all of that, the medium through which these things will flow, we will have over, uh, or just around 200 computers deployed throughout uh, the, the campus so that they will be able to utilize, along with their own 
they might not need to use the, 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 the computers of the university because they, they could have their own as well. So you would have that surplus amount of technology to satisfy all of the needs. I am impressed that parents understand. I'm also impressed that students want to come and many of them were uh, really elated that they're now having an opportunity to come and study and they're pledged to study hard and to study well and to make their families proud. Um, the, the staff will be a staff made up of very competent persons from India, um, competent persons from Barbados, and competent persons from the United States, particularly those who understand the USM LE program because students will have to be um, your coach your, your, to, because you want success and you want success by a diverse number of persons who've demonstrated competency. If you're just dealing with academic persons, all of them would be either masters or PhD certified or would have been practicing doctors either who would have spent a long time in medicine and understand medicine of the 21st century um, and those who would bring the kind of learning and continuous learning perspective to also impact on the students. So just let me repeat, um, teaching personnel from India, teaching personnel from Barbados, and teaching personnel from the United States of America will make up the, the team of uh, per teaching personnel to impact on student learning. Um, as the Vice Chancellor of the University, Bridgetown International University, located in Barbados, it would be my extreme pleasure to welcome students from India to Barbados. I look forward to their coming and their participating in class, uh, collaboratively working with others to make sure, to ensure that they are successful. So, welcome to Bridgetown International University and the MBBS overseas or MD program which will be done between the Barbados and the United States of America.